Hi guys, Sam here from Adreno. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the basics you need to get started spearfishing. Alright, first off, we're going to start with the mask. The mask is probably, well, for me, it's the most important part of your kit. Without it, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing, it's going to leak, it'll be really uncomfortable out there. So a few things when looking for a mask for spearfishing. Number one, you want to have a good seal. You'd be tried on in the shop, basically putting it up to your face, breathe in, see if you get a seal. As you can see, that one's really good fit for me, and that's why I've chosen it today. Uh, secondary to that, you'd probably want to go for a black skirted mask, so lets less light in, uh, less distractions, be better for aiming, better for seeing fish under rocks, ledges, that sort of thing. Uh, thirdly to that for spearfishing, you're probably looking at your low volume masks. So these will be good for diving a little bit deeper. Again, if you're starting out, it's not the most important factor. Remember, it fits the number one. The other thing with the masks, they're really prone to fogging up when they're new. So you, it's a good idea to get yourself some pre-cleaner and anti-fog with those. So along with the mask, you're going to need a snorkel. Most freediving snorkels are pretty straightforward. We call this a, a J-style snorkel. So it's no purge valves, no splash guards, just really basic. Nice and flexible. And make sure you get something with a silicon keeper. These are much more reliable and they won't fall off your mask. And always remember to dive without your snorkel in your mouth as a safety precautionary thing. Now, next to that, we need our fins. Um, these fins I have here, they're an entry level plastic freediving fin. Um, these are actually sort of like a full length freediving fin, so you can start a little bit shorter as well if you want. Um, this particular one is fairly firm, so suitable for some probably 80 kilos and above. It's going to be a little bit stiff for you if you're sort of 80 kilos and less. Uh, if you're unsure about the type of fin to get or how your leg muscles are going to go with it, opt for something softer. Uh, again, if you're going to be around tight spaces and rocks, go for a slightly shorter fin than this. Alright, all right, next from that, we're going to be looking at, I guess so everyone, once you start spearfishing, you're going to need a knife. So primary purpose of the knife is for dispatching your kill, like humanely and quickly. And secondary, it's a really good safety device as well. I like to go for something that mounts to a weight belt. I find the rubber straps can be slightly unreliable and it's one extra thing to put on when you're getting ready. So this knife we've had for a few years, it's definitely our most popular knife among all of our stores around Australia. It's very easy to get in and out and it amounts to your weight belt. Plus, if you drop it, yellow handle, very easy to spot. So in terms of the weight belt to use then, you're going to want a rubber one, especially if you're going to mount your knife to it. The nylon sort of seat belt material belts, they will slide around. When you're duck diving, they're going to move up and down your waist, up to your chest. Uh, really annoying. The, the nylon belts are more designed for scuba divers. Uh, this particular rubber weight belt, has got a Marseille style buckle. So when you release this, it's, good, it's really good at falling off. So if you're in trouble and you pull on it, let go, it's gonna quickly fall away to the bottom. So very important there. So along with your weight belt, you're gonna want some weights. This is very dependent on the type of wetsuit you're wearing, your muscle mass, your lung capacity, whole bunch of variables there. So I'd recommend, especially for beginners, always starting out with less, so less is best. Even if you just want to start with one. The big thing are the weights. When you add your wetsuit, it's full of little air bubbles, so very buoyant. The weights are there to counteract that, and your lung, lungs as well, as they're full of air. All right, then we're getting to the fun stuff. So you're going to need a spear gun. Well, maybe not a spear gun. You can start with a hand spear or like what some people call a gidgey as well. Here we've got a spear gun. Yeah, 110. This you could pretty much use anywhere in Australia. Um, so 110 is a great starting length. You want to look for something that's got a rail, there's a track generally, and a good, good comfortable grip and solid mechanism. So to go with the spear gun, if you go down that track rather than hand spear, you're going to need a float, like something like that, just a nice small one. 
and a float line. And again, you want to pick your float line length based on the depth that you're going to dive. So there's no point having a 30 meter float line if you're only diving five meters. It's just going to become a tangle, like a hazard. If you're diving five meters, 10 meter float line's plenty. A uh, small hard float like this, solid foam. This is a really good one starting out because it won't puncture easy on the rocks. Um, however, if you do find yourself walking a long way to dive, you may be better off looking at an inflatable one because it's a bit easier to carry with you. So thirdly, we're going to look at the neoprene products. The products are designed to keep you warm and protect you from cuts and scratches. So I would recommend, if your budget allows, going straight for a two-piece wetsuit. Much warmer, stretchier material. Um, again, it comes out similar to the mask. This, if you're comfortable in the water, your diving is going to be much better. You pair your wetsuit up with a pair of gloves and a pair of socks. Gloves will protect your hands from fish spikes, keep your hands warm, and the socks are going to protect your feet from blisters. Now that's just the basics. Obviously, we could go on all day about different bits and pieces you can use for spearfishing. And um, today we just wanted to cover the bare essentials to get you in the water. So I've just jumped through these pretty quick. If you want to find out any more info on any of these product categories, just feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more, we have loads of content on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to check out our stores. Or you can shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.